Welcome to Discover at Home, where we take discovery world learning and do it at home. I'm your host, Leslie Garcia, and today we're going to be making 3D stars. But before we get started, I'd like to mention that this activity is part of our backyard astronomy theme. So if you like this video, make sure to check that out because we have a lot more similar videos on our website. Here at Discovery World, we have a lot of stuff related to space. We have a tactile galaxy activity as well as an astronaut spacesuit on exhibit that you can check out. Before we begin, let's head over there. Okay, so here we are at the astronaut exhibit where we can see what an astronaut wears on duty in space. Isn't this crazy? A, a suit like this can weigh about 220 pounds. That's insane. I don't think I could handle that much weight on my body, but it seems like Mr. James Lavelle did. And fun fact, there's actually a street named after him. Before we start, this is the materials you will need for this activity. So we have some construction paper, a pen or pencil, either works. We have our star template, which you can find on the website too, to print it out yourself. A ruler, just in case, some glue, um, probably use a glue stick, but um, for me, just the gel glue has worked better when I've made this before. And then just a pair of scissors. Um, also, this is our 3D star uh, template list, so it shows you step by step. So that is also on our website, which you can print out to have uh, in hand. Since we're making star today, here are some star facts. Stars come in different sizes, and star size determines their temperature, luminosity, and lifespan. The color of a star is indicative of their temperature. Hotter stars tend to be blue or white, while cooler stars tend to be red, like our sun. Constellations are made up of fun groups of stars, and when you connect them with imaginary lines, they form pictures that people see. These pictures have been named for thousands of years and have stories behind them. Okay, so... With our two stars, there is a front and back, so... We'll start with the front piece, because that's what I struggle with the most. I'm gonna grab red, because red is my favorite color, so. The closest thing to purple, I guess, and pink, as you can see from what I'm wearing. <laughs> so, you're gonna put it on a piece of construction paper, and basically I'm just gonna uh, sketch out the star. So, this can be quite tricky, so. Okay, and there I have a trace, and that part does not matter. So, it looks like a funny star right now. It kind of looks like a little sea star you find on the on those shells on the ocean. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's what that reminds you. So we're gonna grab our scissors, and then I'm just gonna cut. Good. So now we have our front piece. And now let's do our back piece. So again, you're gonna trace it. I feel like the back piece is the easier one to trace. Okay, so our star examples um, have areas where it tells you to fold them. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. And this is the front of it. So there's this one. So um, you can't really tell because there's no lines on this one, but as you can see those little edges I cut, that's kind of where I'm gonna fold. All you have to do is fold it.
and it's fine if the paper breaks a little. Hope that's good enough. Okay. Again, you can grab the end of your scissors. Good. Okay, now we're gonna use our glue. So, it's the hardest part <laughs> here. I'm trying to remember. Actually, I totally forgot. Let's see. Okay. So, again, there's lines on here where you could see where to fold them. So, this is the front side. I'm going to fold it in half so that we get that 3D look. Fold it on this side. Fold it over here. Give it some fun folds. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. So you're gonna put some glue on the inside. This is gonna get really messy. Put some over here for a second. Okay, hardest part ever. It doesn't matter if the glue gets all over. That's perfect. Wait, no. We <laughs> can't. have to hold it down and wait for the glue to dry. I'm also taking my scissors again and just how we did before. I'm just gonna smash them so they glue and if they're not sticking glue. Okay it might come out a little flat but that's okay, because then this side is perfect, right there. That's our little star. <laughs> so, um, probably have to have a lot more patience than me and let the glue dry. But I can sort of show you guys this is how this turned out. Really cute, really fun. Well, that's all the time we have for today, so make sure you give this video a like, subscribe, and check out our other content. I'm your host, Elsie Garcia, and I'll see you next time.